Hi, and welcome back for another design coffee break. Today's demo is introducing brand kits with Poster My Wall. I'm Lisa, and I will be your coach today. The idea behind Design Coffee Break is that we show you how to use a Poster My Wall tool in about the same amount of time as it would take you to enjoy a hot cup of coffee. So fill up and let's go. Today we have something really exciting to show you, our newest Premium Plus tool, Brand Kits. Brand Kits empower you to save your brand logo, colors, fonts, everything. And once you have saved them and created a brand kit, they will be automatically available to you every time you create a design in Poster My Wall. It is gonna save you a ton of time and make it easier than ever to keep all of your designs consistent and on brand. And we all know that consistency is the key to making sure that your customers and prospects easily recognize your brand and posts no matter where they see them. Please note that brand kits are only available for Poster My Wall Premium Plus subscribers. I will explain more to you about that at the end of the demo. So we're going to tackle today's demo in two parts. First, I'm going to show you how to set up a brand kit, and then I'm going to show you how to use your brand kit to make it super fast and easy to customize any template to fit your brand. So let's set up a brand kit. To create a brand kit, go to My Stuff. On the left, you can click Brand Kits. And then on the top right, Create New Brand Kit. Name your brand kit. Click the check mark and you are ready to start. Now you can also create your brand kits in a couple of other, well, three other places in My Photos, Font Picker, and Color Picker. I will point those out as we go along. The first thing you're going to want to do is add your logo. So you just click on Upload a Logo. And I have mine on my desktop here. It's called Bakery Loco. I click on it and it imports just that easy. You can see that it labeled it as the primary logo, which um, I can change if I add another logo. And you can add a second logo or a third logo if you have secondary logos or taglines or things that you want to store too. Next, you add your brand colors. I'm going to start with my most prevalent brand color. You can use the color picker and the sliders to get your color. Or the easiest thing is if you know the uh, six digit uh, hex code to just copy and paste it in there. So my brand color is a cotton candy pink today. Um, and I marked it primary because it is the main color. Click add new color and it is stored. Then I'm gonna add my secondary brand color which is a bright cranberry. Again, the easiest way is to type in that hex code or cut and paste it in. And the secondary, so it gets used less frequently um, or it's the accent color. So we're gonna add that. And then I'm gonna keep adding colors because I have some supporting colors for my brand. I have this color that's probably gonna look like white to you. It's actually a very soft, you know, very soft yellow. You can see it's marked other. So click add new color. That's what we use a lot for backgrounds or, or for lighter accents against dark backgrounds. Okay, we've also got a very muted pink, a ballet pink that I'm gonna add to the palette. And finally, there is a chocolate brown. Okay, so you can see as I'm adding things uh, over here on the image on the right, my brand is taking shape. So I can see what it's starting to look like. Um, scroll down some more and it says brand fonts. So you add the fonts that are your main fonts. Now I know that dancing is my font. So I click on dancing and then I click the color that is primarily used in, which is the chocolate brown. Um, so my, for my main text that's in dancing, I use the chocolate brown. So I'm clicking that for add new font. And then I do have a secondary font. So I'm gonna mark that. Just Giardino regular. And this one is used usually in the cranberry. So I select that color, add new font. And you can again, continue adding fonts if you have other fonts. I just have two. And that's it. 
your brand kit is set up and stored and ready to use. Now I'll show you how to use your brand kit to customize any template effortlessly to create it completely on brand for your business. First, select and open the template that you want to apply your brand to. You can customize the different parts of your, of your design in any order you want. Um, I'm going to start with my logo. So I click here to add the logo. And I'm going to click Replace. Go to My Photos. And you can see here's where I got my brand kits. And I was doing bakery demo. So I'm going to click on the brand kit that I want. You can see here, this is also a place where you could start a new brand kit from My Photos. Uh, so we're, but we're going to use the one we set up. I'm going to select my logo, click Replace Logo. I do not want to crop it because it's oval, not square. And at that point, you can drag and drop and rotate and resize um, the same as you normally would do in Poster My Wall. To swap out the colors to create your brand colors, all you have to do is click on the item that you want to change the color of, go over here on the right to the color, and you can see your brand colors are right up top here. Um, again, if you wanted to change to a different brand kit or start a new brand kit, you can do that here too. But we're sticking with the bakery demo. And so we want this to be the primary color, the bright pink. And then you continue clicking on the other, clicking on the, continue clicking on the other elements in the design until you brought them all over to the brand colors that you want. Change a font, you just click on the text that you want to change, come over here to the font menu. And once again, you here we go, we've got our brand font dancing, and we click on that and it changes it. And then change, you know, if you want to change your type to something else. And just that simple, it is it is changed. I actually want to move it up a tiny hair. Yeah. Okay. Do the same over here. If I want that in that same font, all I have to do is click on dancing and you can see it is already in that brown color. If I had wanted it in one of my other brand colors, um, obviously once I'm in here, I can change the color. So don't worry about being stuck with a color you don't want. Continue clicking on all the different font items to transform them into your brand fonts. As I explained before, if you don't like the color that you have preset for a specific item, you can just go back in and it'll show you your brand palette and you can change it. And of course, you can change out the photos or videos to anything from your own personal photos or videos or any of our stock photos or videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this bread with a stock video of cupcakes. Gonna look for something that is on brand color. So I found some pink cupcakes, click replace video. All right, looks good. Then you can just kind of continue to change whatever, if there's any other elements you wanna add or stickers or um, like, for instance, I can take these elements and say, I want them to be in the brown color. Oops, I did not mean to do that. To finish up your design, you can add any other text or elements that you want, or you can, uh, or you can go ahead and adjust the colors on any of the other elements just to get it how you exactly how you want it. Uh, like that, and you're done. It is that easy. Let me play the whole thing for you. You see how great that turned out? And wanted to show you something else. It only took me about half an hour to customize uh, all of these samples that I made for the demo once I had my brand kit set up. So it really does make designing so much faster and easier. 
So wasn't that just incredibly easy? And just think how much time you're gonna save, right? So as I explained earlier, BrandKits is a premium plus feature, which means that only premium plus level subscribers have access. If you'd like to try BrandKits, we've got a promo code for you. Use the promo code BRANDKITS50, and that's good for 50% off on a premium plus subscription, either for a month or for a year. And that is good until September 10th. So if you want to see if BrandKits works for you, try subscribing to Premium Plus for a month. And then in addition to brand kits with premium press, you get unlimited high res and 4K downloads, use of our one-click background remover, social media post scheduling, and 10,000 email sends on our email tools per month. You are going to love it. We've also added a link to more information about premium plus benefits in the class description. If you're interested in more post my wall tips and demos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and we will get back to you soon. And please share this video with your friends and colleagues. Also, if you use brand kits, we would love to have your feedback. Give them a try and let us know what you think. You can email our customer service team at help at postermywall.com. Thank you for joining us today and enjoy the rest of your day.